It's hard living up here. It's very hard because this water is harsh on the human body. Normally, it comes out a little peach color. It's harsh on your clothes. It's harsh on, on every aspect of your life. We have to haul in our water in five gallon jugs. This is the second largest mercury mine in North America that we're standing in right here. And so uh, this has been operating for about 115 years. It closed down in 1972, but it started in about uh, 1854. So it's been around for a long time producing mercury, a lot of which was used for uh, gold mining up in the Sierra Nevada foothills. If you have enough of it, of course, it causes mercury poisoning and all the attendant health impacts of that. It really is paradise. It's paradise to me, but it, it would really be so if it weren't for this acid mine drainage. That's a very remote site. There aren't a lot of human receptors directly in proximity, you know, in close proximity. So uh, we just don't have the luxury of being able to clean up everything that comes across uh, our plates. The focus of the research here is to understand uh, the types of mercury species that are present in the mine waste and the waters and uh, the roasted ore material and to assess the environmental impact of uh, these different uh, mercury species. Neon orange, electric orange, it's disgusting. We're pretty much resigned to the fact that this will not get cleaned up in our lifetimes.